Take 5 on San Diego CW. Welcome back. Well, the cause of breast cancer is elusive and no miracle cure exists. But by eating right, you can avoid cancer. Or can you? Joining us is Vicki Newman of the Healthy Eating Program at UCSD. Vicki, thank you so much for joining us. I'm happy to be here. You know, there is so much conflicting and confusing information out now about the link between diet and breast cancer. Can you kind of enlighten us a bit? Well, it's true to say that what we eat does affect the risk of breast cancer, but it's also true to say that there's no magic cures. And um, there's, unfortunately, women that have wonderful diets that still get breast cancer. Um, but what we think is important is that it can reduce risk, and also what we eat can make us feel better longer. And what kinds of things do we need to eat? And I know you brought us some examples as well yeah. of what we should be eating that will make us feel better longer. Well, one of the things we say is go for the bold, big color and big flavor, because it turns out that nature actually guides us to the right foods, the foods that are filled with protective nutrients and phytochemicals. So bright colors, oranges, reds, dark greens, purples, like in berries, all of those are filled with antioxidants and with compounds that actually upregulate detoxification systems in our bodies. So you brought us some bold in the bowls. I did. And what do we have here as far as the fruits and vegetables? Well, we have cruciferous vegetables. So we've got cauliflower and broccoli, and there's some red cabbage here. They all have sulfur compounds that actually upregulate detoxification enzymes. And what's kind of nifty about red cabbage is it also has anthocyanins, which are an antioxidant that are found in purple colored fruits and vegetables. Interesting. Yeah. So that's only in the purple colored? Well, that particular compound. Okay. But um, in addition, you've got uh, carrots, which we know are you know filled with carotenoids. And this is a colorful um, pepper. So peppers have compounds in them that are protective as well as carotenoids. Mm -hmm. So just finding color is one really wonderful way of, of finding the most nutrients. Mm -hmm. um, and should we talk about the salad a little Please bit? Please do. Because okay. you know it's interesting, I was thinking some people are afraid of vegetables. Oh, why? You know, and not, not that, the, you know, but some people don't like vegetables. But uh. I think you have dressed them up nicely in this salad. So we, we need, you, you really do need to talk about that salad. Okay, well, um, this is a, a shrimp edamame cilantro salad, and it has um, sugar snap peas in it. Um, it has fresh edamame, which is um, green soybeans, and lots of dark, um, Really, they're lettuce and herbs. It's, it's a spring vegetable mix. Um, it has red peppers in it, and the dressing has a little bit of soy sauce and fresh ginger, mm. orange zest, and orange juice. So it's, it's very um, filled with flavor, but also really refreshing and, um, and good for us as well. And it sounds fabulous. Would that be considered then maybe a complete meal? It really is. Some people might need a little bit more calories and they might want a little bit of bread or toast or something to go with it. But for many people that are watching their weight, this would really be just a wonderful meal that you could have for either lunch or dinner. Okay. Or maybe breakfast. Sure. <laughs> well, yeah, this is about breakfast time for me. <laughs> well, I also want to ask you, though, that recipe came out of your cookbook? Um, actually, we discovered this after our cookbook, oh. but we have many wonderful recipes in our cookbook, Food for Thought. And um, this cookbook came from materials that we created for the Women's Healthy Eating and Living Study, um, which is the largest clinical trial looking at the effect of diet on recurrence from breast cancer. Um, and it's filled with practical information and wonderful recipes that feature big color and big flavor. And most of the recipes are really easy to make and fast. Um, and tasty. Oh yes. Well, I looked at the book earlier, and it looks fabulous. Yes. <laughs> and it's a good price too. Um, Twenty dollars includes the tax, and all the proceeds go to the prevention program at the Moore's UCSD Cancer Center. All right. Well, let's talk about some of the programs. Of course, Moore's Cancer Center at UCSD. Mm -hmm. Some of the programs at UCSD that you are working on. We give a free lecture twice a month. One is on basic nutrition for cancer prevention, and also um, I give a lecture each month on um, dealing with the nutritional issues that can happen during cancer treatment. Those are free lectures to the public. Folks can find them on our website. 
Um, should I say the website? Oh, sure. Okay, www.healthyeating.ucsd.edu. Um, and then in addition, we give cooking classes several times a month in the Healing Foods Kitchen. And those are wonderful. People have a lot of fun. Um, sometimes they help prepare the food and they get to taste six or seven new recipes each time. And they're given both during the day and in the evening so folks can find a time that they can go. And I'd like to come but I'd like to bring a doggy, you know, my doggy bag so uh, I could just kind of, you know. Sometimes actually there is so much extra food that, that we send people home with doggy bags but we can't promise that. Sure, I'm just kidding about that but okay. it sounds fabulous. Now what is the most important thing that you think we need to know when it comes to eating and perhaps breast cancer? I think in general for health and cancer prevention as well, eating a more plant-based diet is really important. That does not really mean vegetarian, although that would be fine. But what we teach is a diet where most of the plate has vegetables, grains, beans and the animal protein is more like a garnish okay. it's just a little extra yeah okay well thank you for joining us thank you for having me uh